So, now I will just, since I'm getting a little crazy for making all these test doohickeys, I think I shall start off. So this one is cream and gold, and uh, I of course painted the gold on, but uh, there was some yellow on the printed paper. It's this ordinary magazine, it's on good quality paper though, thank goodness. So it's well worth using over in a craft project. I like a little yucky, flimsy kind of paper that hardly holds up through one use. Now, put on double sided tape. Wait. Okay, let's try that again. Put on double sided tape. And yes, there's some people who just glue things directly. And there's different kinds of glue, etc., etc. But this is what I find works best for me. So it's what I go with. I... There. Haha. -ha. Usually it takes me quite a few tries to get my thumbnail under the little piece of paper. So, I'm very pleased. And here, taking a clamp, got it from some kind of hobby supply place. So, did not steal it from uh, injured people or anything like that. Or holding some poor wounded person's body back together. So, uh, there, everybody lined up, try to keep some tension here, yeah, I think with hot glue guns is, you invariably get the stringies, no matter how careful you are, but at least I try not to get too many of them, because the more stringy it's the more time spent with an old toothbrush brushing them off. And that's not particularly fun. There. Yeah, that's a little wonky, but that's totally okay. Nobody is going to see that bit. Now a little dab of hot glue from the very hot glue gun. Definitely feel that through the paper. But I'm a grown up and I'm tough, so. Just stick it out. Take the clamp out, of course. Now, this is the bit where I'm going to make the flowers. Like this kind of flower. And this kind of flower. And Got all these waiting for their stems, so. I use bamboo skewers for just about everything imaginable and then a few things that probably aren't. But they're a bit long, so I 
broke one and two and then I sharpened each end just using my regular pencil sharpener. So, okay. Ah. Insert that very, very easily. No problem. Now, to pick a bead. Nah. Hmm. Maybe the big yellow bead. Yeah. It's a bit large, but it's going to have the flower uh, petals, I guess you could call them, all around it, so. It won't look so open, ginormous, and out of place, and all that. Now, first. Ah. First, glue the bead on, and then a little more glue, and push the petals up, 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 and uh, a couple got a little stuck, that's easy to fix. No, I make no claim to uh, perfection. In fact, what you get is the uh, <laughs> the uncensored truth. Sometimes you get glue where you don't want it. You have to snippity do doll it on out. <laughs> there. This one looks, yeah, it's a little pooped looking. Like maybe it's been blooming and now the frost is on the pumpkin and all that, so it's maybe not going to bloom much longer. But the other alternative, other than accepting the hand of fate, I mean, is of course to add a second layer, which I am probably not going to do, but just for the sake of showing. Also, it gets very, very fat there, but on the other hand, I can do it down here. Ah, that won't be so great. That's a matter of choice and personal taste and whatnot. I can say I like the little kind of raggedy fall has come. I just seen better days. It's so sad. And this one to be its own fresh flower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, really have to get myself out of perfectionist mode. This is just like flipping ridiculous. I mean, you go outside in the natural world. And it's not perfect, and it's not, except for snowflakes, symmetrical. And that's totally okay. It's not only okay, it's one of the nice things about the natural world. So, here we go. Nope. Didn't get you that time. Let's try this end. No. 
Ay, ay, ay. Uh, for a moment, it's going to have to stop the video so I could swear at it. But there we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do -do -do. Ba -do -ba -do. So let's put. I think the smaller clamp seems to work a bit better. So I'll just do that. If you hear little weird noises, there's somebody on the floor making the weird noises because she thinks that I'm a terrible person for not stopping what I'm doing and immediately attending to her every whim. Well, the thing is, this person has a bowl with perfectly good dry cat food in it, and in roughly an hour, Harry will give her some of the canned wet food. So, it's not that I'm hard hearted, it's just I, I, I've heard it a few times before. Yeah. A little bit. Whoops. There we go. Yes. Even though I put the double sided tape on, I like to finish up with a little bit of glue, just to be sure, because you know, it's such a pain when you put stuff together and then it comes right apart. So, this one, yeah, this is a little bit stiff, that's good, but I think it does mean I'm going to do a different kind of set set up so it will be more like this barely opened one instead of the oh my god I'm smooshed one or pooped one I don't know what to call it so I'll just let that sit a moment it makes a really great effect when you take magazine paper and and do some painting with it and some of the same colors. So we've got the blues and purples, so but we've got pinks and reds there. And then here I mostly just put a bit of gold on. But the more of these I do, the more <laughs> advanced they've been getting. So here we have green and pink, but there's some silver in the in between. And some silver on the tips. But it's nice and shiny. That's the thing. Yes, Your Majesty. I hear a little bit. 